good morning students of class 7 so today we are going to learn poem that is against idleness and mischief written by isaac watts and how doth the little crocodile written by lewis carroll isaac watts was an english hymn writer theologian and logician he has written more than 650 hymns many of which have been translated into several languages so here goes the poem against idleness and mischief how doth the little busy bee improve each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower how skillfully she builds her cell how neatly she spreads the wax and labors hard to store it well with the sweet food she makes summary here the author wonders how does a small honey bee collects honey from the flowers and also thinks about the hard work of the honey bee in the busy schedule the female honey bee carefully constructs the cell inside the honeycomb she neatly spreads the wax gather honey from the flower so in this poem actually the poet describes how the little busy bee uses each and every hour of the bright day and gathers honey all day long from every flower that opens she builds the cell of her hive with great skill and neatly spreads the wax okay she works hard to store it with plenty of sweet honey that she makes and the central theme of against idleness and mischief is that hard work is important because it is the key to staying out of trouble the busy bee is like the idle individual hard working as she collects honey from the flowers and builds wax cells to store it the speaker says that he would also be busy like the bee warning that satan finds some mischief still for idle hands to do the busy bee is constantly occupied means she is occupied and she is so busy and therefore she has no time to sit idle and therefore no time to do mischievous things so by following the speaker's example good children can do the same if they want to stay out of trouble so in short the purpose of this poem was to give children the value of diligence and ceaseless effort to encourage children to learn from the example of the busy bee and put each hour of the day to use in short the theme of this poem is hard work and efforts are virtues louis carroll he was the pseudonym of charles litwit dogson his most famous work are alice adventures in wonderland and its sequel through the looking glass carol used parodies of many famous poems and puzzles in his work how doth the little crocodile how doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail and pour the water of the nile on every golden scale how cheerfully he seems to grin how neatly spread his claws 
and welcome little fishes in with gently smiling jaws here the crocodile by the poet tells very briefly of a crocodile who sneakily attracts small fishes and then swallows them with a big smile on his face so this actually this poem it takes us through some of the attributes that is particularly in a crocodile or that the crocodile displays what is that attributes they are deception and cunning means it shows that how he smiles cheerfully basks in the sun washes his scale the scale on his body and open his claws as if welcoming fish to his arms now the theme of this poem it is to draw our attention towards the various people that surrounds us or they that are in the world who outwardly seem very friendly but wait for an opportunity to strike at innocent people who may be unaware of their real malicious intentions so the poet is warning us to be very careful while dealing with others and not get carried away by their sweet smile and attractive looks means you should not get carried away by peoples who are coming towards us with their sweet smiles and attractive looks so basically this two poems the purpose of this poem the second one that is how dot the little crocodile it was for the entertainment purpose and the first i have told you it was the purpose to give children the value of hard work and diligence okay and this poem is actually a parody it is a human a uh, humorous parody and there is a wide contrast between the first and the second poem that is uh, the uh, against idleness and mischief and how dot the little crocodile because in the first one we can see the busy bee is building its hive and diligently storing sweet honey and in the second one this is how dot the little crocodile the sly crocodile is pretending to smile and opening its jaws to trap fish and this gives rise to the humor so this was about this chapter the poem thank you and have a nice day